What's going on guys, Billy here, and the DJI Osmo Action has been my go-to capture device ever since it dropped. I keep it in the top compartment of my backpack, so I've always got easy access to it, but I think the reason I continue to rely on this camera so much is not only because of how powerful it is, but also because of how versatile it is. And that brings us into the topic that I want to touch on here in today's video, and that is some creative mounting solutions for the Osmo Action. So I'll show you how I utilize different mounts for this camera to make the most of it. Perhaps the most well-known and versatile mount that I tend to use is the Joby Gorilla Pod. My Osmo Action basically lives on this thing because I can use it as a simple handle when I'm shooting a vlog style video to get the camera up and away from my face comfortably and it makes capturing what's in front of me a lot easier as it gives me more reach and is definitely a lot more comfortable to hold than just the camera itself. What really makes this combo here work so well is the Rocksteady image stabilization feature that's built into the Osmo Action itself. You see, if we took a look at this clip shot from the Osmo Action mounted to my bike with Rocksteady turned off, the image looks fairly shaky just like any other camera would without some form of stabilization. But once we turn Rocksteady on and put the Osmo Action in the same conditions, the difference between both clips is like night and day. That internal electronic image stabilization helps make this clip more workable when we're editing with it and at the end of the day just makes it more viewable to the end audience. To maximize the versatility of the Osmo Action Gorilla Pod combo here, we want to find a place to mount this camera, which isn't hard considering it's so light and so small. I've had this camera mounted in places that bigger, heavier cameras just wouldn't fit, and thanks to the bendy legs of the Gorilla Pod, almost any mounting situation is viable. Typically, when I have my Osmo Action mounted like this, it's because I'm shooting time lapses, which is really easy to set up through the Mimo app that connects directly to the Osmo Action from your mobile device. From our live view, Feed, we'll need to scroll over to time lapse. Then at the top of the screen, we can select our shooting interval and the desired duration of our time lapse. We can wrap things up by customizing some of the advanced settings through the menus on the left side of the screen. And once all is said and done, we can hit the capture button on the right side of the screen and let the Osmo action do all the hard work for us. There's something about capturing fast moving motion like this from the unique angles that you can position the Osmo action in that's just so satisfying. I know that a lot of the photographers watching this video are probably upset because I've only mentioned video shooting tactics with the Osmo Action up until this point, but using the Gorilla Pod in conjunction with the Osmo Action is definitely a viable option for taking more creative, more unique photos. So for example, I've used it as a glorified selfie stick to capture daytime long exposure photos with the help of an ND filter while on my electric skateboard to emphasize the speed at which I'm riding, which always yields satisfying results. Now, if you're craving a little bit more stability, and more precise control over your Osmo Action, then you can double up sort of like I'm showing you here by mounting it to your Osmo Mobile 3. Now, the way that I've done this is through a metal holster that offsets the size and the weight of the Osmo Action so that it fits properly into the clamp of the Osmo Mobile. And while this isn't necessarily my go-to solution as I'd prefer to just rely on Rocksteady because it's easier and already good enough, this will give you more precise control over what you're shooting with the knob and various features that the Osmo Mobile offers. So as I've already made it pretty clear, the Gorilla Pod does a lot of the heavy lifting for me when it comes to mounting the Osmo Action, but this is typically reserved for static shots. So what happens when I want to mount the Osmo Action to something that's moving, say a car? Well, that is where the suction cup comes into play, and this right here has probably gotten me some of my favorite shots that I've ever gotten with the Osmo Action, specifically because they're so much more immersive, and this is where the versatility of this camera really begins to shine. For example, if I take the Osmo Action and mount it onto the hood of my car with the help of that suction cup mount, it gives us a nice immersive view of what's in front of the car as we're driving down this empty abandoned road, but I think we can get a little bit more creative than that. So let's put the Osmo action a little bit lower down to the ground, only inches off of the pavement. As we see all of the leaves, the overgrown weeds, and the rocks pass by the car, this is something that immerses us even further. But we can also find different mounting points that are a little bit more unique than just the front of the car, like on the side of the car, being able to analyze one of the wheel wells as we also see that scenery pass by us really fast. So we've got this stagnant view of the car with the spinning wheel as everything zooms past the car. It really is cool. 
Remember how I told you guys that I am obsessed with shooting time lapses? Well, I think that some of my favorite time lapses have come from the suction cup mount mounted to my car. So as I showed you guys with the wheel well, being able to have that stagnant object in the frame as everything zooms past, well, imagine being able to record a video for over an hour and then speeding up that entire trip, seeing the clouds move, seeing the trees move, seeing all of the cars zoom past you. It's something that just looks really cool. And I really wish that my commutes were actually this fast. If you think about the surface area that's available on a car, you soon realize the amount of different shots that you can get with the Osmo Action by mounting it to your car with the suction cup mount. And it's not only limited to cars. I mean, you can use this on a jet ski, on a boat, an ATV, a UTV. The possibilities are limitless. I could even suction cup this down to my desk and I could probably pick up my whole entire desk here. So the suction cup mount is one of my favorites alongside the Gorilla Pod, but I've certainly got a ton of different honorable mentions as I've been using a ton of different mounts with the Osmo Action and I couldn't help myself but mention them here in this video. So a good alternative to the Gorilla Pod is a flex clamp mount that has a really strong clamp with a gooseneck attachment, giving you the flexibility to position and frame up your Osmo Action in different ways. I've used this a few times to try and get different angles while on my electric skateboard and sometimes use it as a mount for shooting time lapses, but the Gorilla Pod is usually my go-to. My next honorable mention here is the bike mount, which I showed examples from earlier in this video, but they were taken from the standard handlebar position. To get a bit more creative, I've tried mounting the Osmo Action to different areas of the bike's frame, which I find gives me much more interesting shots. The final two honorable mentions are pretty much obvious picks for me because of how often they are used, and they are the head strap and the chest strap. Utilizing these two mounts to capture a first-person point of view or what this camera excels at because of its lightweight and rugged design. At the end of the day, when you buy the Osmo Action and you only use just the camera itself, you're only scratching the surface. There are a variety of different accessories out there for this action camera, a lot of different mounts out there that really allow you to unlock the full potential of this camera, and I'd highly recommend you go out and check them out because there are so many more than the ones I only mentioned in today's video that allow you to utilize this camera in ways you probably didn't didn't even think were possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys find ways to get creative with the Osmo action. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.